Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Aussie Goddess TV show. <laughs> Sorry, I just never know what to open with. Like, I, it, it gets me every time. So, uh, thank you for joining me. Um, thank you especially to you people who've come over from my YouTube channel and from my Facebook page. So, I appreciate all of your support. It's been a very tough few months for me, and I've... Um, uh, uprooted, moved to a new place, you know, finally got my internet up and going. Life just decided that it wanted to send me in a completely new direction and I've rolled with the punches as you do. So um, I'm so happy to be back with you today and give you a, um, a little bit of insight on what's happening. Of course, as usual, we'll take a couple of readings from callers. So I always enjoy doing that part of the show too. Um, before we go any further, just in case I don't get a chance at the end of the show, uh, sometimes I do talk too much. Um, just letting you know, I do. I am on YouTube daily, weekly, and monthly doing readings. Um, I offer personal readings as well, so I do that face to face. If you're close enough to come and see me, I also do uh, Skype and um, other methods for overseas. So I am internationally known now, which is so awesome. I'm still in awe of my journey, but I follow what my heart and my spirit is telling me to do. Um, and I um, also am on most so social media. So you'll find me in a lot of places. So let's have a look at the energies of today. We do have the Two of Swords coming up as the main energy of today. So the Two of Swords is a card where it talks about a decision that needs to be made. That isn't a great decision. Um, it's a decision that's going to cause you or create a little bit of pain for you because you have to make a decision about whether you want to speak a truth to someone or move away from someone. That's about cutting them out. So the Swords are all about the energy of um, precision, clarity, and ensuring that you're doing what's best for you. So it sort of brings it to a little bit of a stalemate sometimes because you don't always want to make a decision. I feel like some of you are trying to work out what direction to take in your life today um, or over the next few days. This is sort of this feeling that um, maybe there's two jobs on offer or two situations on offer and you're trying to choose between the two. I do see a lot of swords and a lot of anxiety. In fact, five cards on the table, they're all swords. So a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress at the moment, trying to make your mind up what you want to do. Now, for others of you, um, this could be about, you know, just trying to plan out your life path. You may be deciding to either give up work and go... Um, and go and study something. You may be looking at walking away from someone. Um, I see a variety of things here for people. Um, but the main thing here is this is about you speaking your truth. This is about you speaking up for what you truly believe in and what you feel is really important here. Um, as I said, for some of you, this is about walking away from someone or cutting someone out of your life. So you could have a very difficult decision to make. Um, this could also be around your family as well. So um, a lot of stress for you, a lot of sleepless nights worrying about how to go about this. But um, trying to make sure that you're making this decision for the best for the best reasons. Now, what I do want to say to you is for some of you here, um, you've perhaps been holding on to something too tightly. So perhaps you're trying to let go of something, um, something that's sort of held you in place. Again, coming back to a relationship, um, but certainly wanting to, it could be for some of you holding on very tightly to your money and not having an opportunity to move in a new direction. Um, but I feel here that there's sort of like a very much an energy here of you taking your power back. Whatever this is, this decision is going to help you become more self-sufficient, more understanding of yourself and, and the way you think about things and what you want in your life. Um, it's very much an energy of like letting go of past energies as well. So you could be clinging to something because you think you have to, or you could be clinging to something because you feel that you um, are obligated somehow to this particular thing. So this definitely is a week of releasing old energies, uh, making good, solid decisions for yourself that you have really good clarity on, but also making decisions for yourself, not for other people. So being able to um, put aside what other people think, what other people are saying. I feel like some of you have got perhaps somebody around you who's trying to um, 
either discredit you or discredit the way you want to go about something. Uh, so sometimes think people try to do things because they think it's best for us, but actually um, they impede our progress because we listen to what they have to say rather than following our own that the beat of our own, own, own drum is what spirit is saying to me. So very much this week, a, a feeling that you need to follow the beat of your own drum, uh, make decisions that are in your best interest, but definitely um, definitely a time for, you know, picking up those things that you've left behind. Um, but also if, if you're trying to make a decision, um, don't, don't, I mean, it's great to listen to other people it's fantastic, but sometimes people think they're helping, and in fact, they stop you from progressing because it doesn't, it doesn't feel good to them to let you move on. So, for whatever reason here, um, this is about you choosing yourself over others, making a decision in your own best interest. So that's the energy for you. Okay, so we have Doris in Hagerman, New York, in the USA, ready online. Are you there, Doris? Yes, I'm here. Hello. Hello. How are you? I am good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And w do you have a question for me today or is there something you wanted to talk about today? Yes, I wanted to know, is there a message from my mother? She just recently passed away. Sorry, I missed that. Could you repeat that for me? I'm so sorry. I said my mother just recently passed away. Is there a message from her? Okay. This is only recently, is it? It's only very recently. Yes. Okay. Um, oh, or oh, she just saying to me, she's sort of quite a nervousy person, and she just saying to me she went too quickly. What happened to her? She passed away from a heart attack, I think. Okay, because she was, she's trying to say to me that she didn't really have time to do what she needed to do. She's telling me that she had still things there that she wanted to do. So it feels to me like, you know, obviously it was unexpected, um, but it's like she's showing me this list of things that she wanted to get done before she passed. Um, okay. Was there somebody around you that's pregnant at the moment? Not that I know of. Okay. All right. Then there must have been something that she wanted to um, do or bring out or rebirth. So um, I'm trying to get this, what she's trying to say to me here. Um, because it feels to me like she wanted to say or do something and she didn't get an opportunity to do that. And she's quite anxious to get this across now. So I'm trying to work out exactly what she's trying to say to me. Was there some unfinished business? Did you have something planned between you? Yes. You did. Okay. Whatever this is, it, it, it sort of, she's feeling like she... Um, wasn't able to finish something with you or conclude something or work something out with you. So I'm not quite sure what that means to you, but she's saying here she wished she had the time because she feels like there was so much more to say to you and she didn't get that opportunity. Okay. Okay. Um, there is... I don't know if she wasn't good at expressing herself because there's a great deal of love and compassion for you here, but I feel like she never really got the opportunity to show you exactly how she felt. So it's sort of like she feels a little bit sort of like she's got ripped off basically, but she's very, she feels like quite an anxious person. So it's like she's very, um, She's very frantic trying to get this message across at the moment. So something she wanted to say to you that she didn't get to say. Okay. Okay. So let me just get into the energy a little bit more. Okay. What's changed for you recently? What What has happened with you recently? Um, meaning with her and I or life in general? With you, it could have been with just you, or, 
rather than you and her. I feel like there was something she was trying to t- wanted to tell you or something she wanted to say. And I feel like it's got to do with some sort of change or something that was changing within either within your relationship or specifically in your life. Um, we didn't have a good relationship. Okay. Okay. And I feel that. There is this really strong feeling now that now she's passed, she's realized that there was a very, uh, there was a great need for her to um, express herself. Now she okay. is coming across as a highly, like in life, I think she was a highly anxious person and I don't think she was she good was. at expressing what she had to say, okay? But that doesn't mean she didn't love you. She said to me, you've got a big change coming up in your life. I'm not sure what that means to you. But she said, you need to be careful that you are kind to you because something here that you both had that you had in common here. So I think that either you may be anxious or maybe uh, a bit nervous about making changes in your life too that you're reluctant to make because she's very much um, trying to guide you in a, in a, either a different direction or move you into a different area now. So even though you didn't have the greatest relationship, I feel that underneath that she really did love you, but I don't think she knew how to express herself. So I think right. she came across as being cranky and anxious rather than rather than being loving. Yes, so. yes but she was she was like she was very very cranky. And anxious, yes. yeah. Um, is there anything that I should look out for with like any signs from my mother? Signs from your mother, like in terms of whether she's around you or not? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's have a little look. Let's see how she's gonna do that. Okay. Now she's showing me curtains. Do you have curtains in your home? Yes. Because they're not something that everybody has nowadays. Curtains are sort of only some people seem to have curtains now. Now, she's showing me something with the curtains. So I actually see them like blowing, but there's not a window open here. Now, I don't know if that means that she's going to show you she's around by moving something around like your curtains, but there's what I see or what she's showing me is like there's a curtain and it's like it's blowing in the wind, but when you pull it back, the window isn't open. So either you okay. have you either have a curtain that has a window behind it that you don't open. Do you have a curtain in your house where the window doesn't open for some reason, like a fixed window? Mm, not really. I mean, like all my windows are open. I mean, I've access to okay. them. Um, all right. So next time you see the curtains blowing, if your windows aren't open, that is your mother. Thank you so much for this information. You are very welcome, but I think you need to understand even though your mother didn't show you love like she perhaps you thought she should, I think she loved you a lot, but I think she had very, very bad anxiety and and troubled about her own self. So probably a lot to do with her own childhood. So um, she did love you very, very much and she is a little concerned about something that's coming up for you. So just follow her messages. She'll try and get you to move in the right direction. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, Doris. Much love to you. Love and light. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, so we have Ashley in Chicago coming up next. So, Ashley, are you there? Yes, I'm hey, here. Hey, how are you going? Good, how are you? I'm very well. We have a lovely clear line. So, what can I help you with today? Um, so, I'm actually making a very difficult decision right now with my relationship, and I was just wondering if you could provide some insight with what you saw. Um, I... The funny part is I've just done a daily reading for people and it was all about making a decision that was very difficult. Um, okay, let me just get into the energy a little bit. Sure. The, the thing is, you've been thinking about this for a long while. This is not something that you're taking lightly. Um, 
Correct. I feel that it's probably you're quite tired from overthinking it as well. And I feel that you've either been researching things or trying to work out what's going on with the relationship. So there seems to be a bit of a, a divide. So what's going on for you? Are, are you actually, have you both been talking about separating or both been talking about um, going in different directions? Um, it's No, definitely not on his aspect. It's definitely on my aspect, talking about going separate directions. Um, we have done the marriage counseling in the past, years ago, and we're kind of at the yeah. same point again. And it's just yeah. kind of more on my end where I'm just, like you said, tired and you have, yeah, that's what I said. I can um, feel how tired you are. That's the overthinking, yeah. you see, because when you're not making a decision, you go round and round in your head and actually we don't realise sometimes how exhausting that truly is. I actually feel too that you're bottling your emotions up a lot at the moment. I can feel your emotions right under the surface. So to me, you're just almost like you're just holding it together at the moment. You're ready to sort of, <laughs> you're ready to fall apart. So um, I feel that this is something that you've already decided, your soul, your spirit, your um, your higher self is already trying to talk to you about what you need to do. Um, but it's sometimes we, we tend to follow our ego, you know, and we tend to sort of go with the, you know, we need to what we need to take care of our family, we need to take care of, you know, our financial situation and we tend to sort of move towards that and I feel this is like the energy you're giving off at the moment where you're going backwards and forwards between what you truly want and what you feel the world around you is best if you do. Absolutely. Yeah. So I feel quite strongly that you've already made the decision it's just now putting it into place. Now, you're a very practical person, so you'll need to do things in a way that feel comfortable for you. So don't rush anything. Don't do anything in a way that's going to um, to make you feel like you regret because I have this strong feeling that um, you're the type of person that um, thinks things through, um, does things in a very orderly way. But when it comes to something like this, you're not sure if you should just cut and run. <laughs> and I don't want you to yeah. do that. I want you to do it in the way you need to do it. Because if you cut and run, you're going to regret what you do a little bit later. And I don't mean that in a negative way, but you're going to question your own motives. And that's going to make you feel very sad. And then sometimes then we go backwards rather than just going forwards. Um, I okay. feel it's like you're flogging a dead horse. Okay, so that's the energy mm -hmm. I've got here. Yeah. Um, and somebody once said to me, um, if the horse is dead, get off. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. But I feel like that you're trying to make something out of something here that's just not going to bring you the satisfaction. Um, Ashley, I feel like you've done a lot of growing in the last few years and I feel that you are sort of a person that um, doesn't stop that growth, like you're always looking for new things to do, you know, and new things to bring into your life. And I feel like you're very, um, you're very stunted where you are at the moment. So it's like, to me, you're pleasing everybody else instead of pleasing yourself. That's true. Okay. So you that need to start thinking true. about, you only get one go at this life. You only get one go. If you don't make it the best go that you've got, you don't get another go at it. Um, and you can put off forever, you know, trying to make a decision in your own best interest. But at the end of the day, you know, you have to think about what's right for you. Not right. what's right for everybody else, okay? So take it slow. Think it out, doing it in a way that is comfortable for you. Don't go backwards and forwards. Once you've made the decision, if your ego keeps kicking in and going, but what if, but what if, but what if, just remember that you've made the decision and just go with what you want, what's in your heart, what you know is best for you. Mm -hmm. Do All you right? see uh, um, different relationships starting out of it or no? Sorry, what was that? Do you see another relationship after the decision is made and I move on? 
are to you. You definitely no. have in front of you. Okay, you do not have to worry. You are a beautiful soul and you are all being prepared. And that's what I said. You need to listen to your heart. You need to listen to your spirit guides. They're trying to move you in a new direction. I feel that you are um, being prepared for much greater things than you're currently experiencing. So listen to that part of you that tells you what you've got to look forward to, not the part that says to you, but what if this, but what if that. Try and separate okay. that gut feeling from your, intu your intuition from your ego. Because you know, if I were to say to you, what do you think's out there, what would you say to me? I'm sorry, You have beautiful things to come in for you, Ashley. You just have to make sure that you're looking after your own needs. Okay. All right. So be kind okay. to yourself. Take it easy. No flash decisions. Just make your decisions as you need to, but go with your gut. Okay. All right. And good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so we have a little bit of time left. So what can we do for the last little bit of time? Okay. Okay, let's talk a little bit about relationships because I think that it's really, um, after sort of talking to that person there, there seems to be something I need to talk about with relationships. Um, I've sort of learned over the years after dealing with many people in different relationships that a lot of people stay with people purely because they think it's the right thing to do or because they've been taught as a child that a relationship has to be worked at regardless of how bad it is. And um, I've met people and talked to people who are in the most excruciatingly painful situations, but they still keep going either for their children or for their families or because just because they've been taught that you have to endure the pain. Um, and we don't. We have a choice um, and it, a lot of the time, you know, if you're in, with someone who's, you know, fairly abusive or um, can be quite narcissistic you or controlling, you often put your own needs aside because the thought of walking away from something is more painful than staying where you are. But actually the pain you're enduring, whether that's for you or your family or your children, is far worse than moving away. And it's such a huge decision because you have to think, uh, you know, how am I going to manage financially? How will I manage with my children? And a lot of the time I speak to people who've been thinking about this for years before they finally take the plunge. Um, it's okay if it's not working and you've tried counselling and you've tried every possible way of approach and it, it still isn't working, it's not going to work. People can change for a little while but it has to take great dedication to make sure that you're doing what you say you're going to. So a lot of the time people go, yeah, let's give it another go and we'll do it. And it works because both people are dedicated. But unless both of you are dedicated to that, it just it just isn't going to work. And after a while, you know, trying to find the things that brought you together in the first place are very hard to find. Um so I always think when, you know, people are talking to me about, you know, how tired they are from thinking about it all the time, I think sometimes you just need to remember to put yourself first. Um, if you're feeling that you're in any sort of trouble or pain or unhappiness, then you have to start thinking that this is your life too. You're not living it for the other person. Um, and if you're clinging to the other person because you feel that you have no opportunities, then maybe you need to look up and work out what codependency is because sometimes we do put other people's needs before ourselves and it's not very healthy. It becomes toxic. So, um, yeah, I think that the best way to do it is, you know, it's all very well to have couples counselling, but sometimes I think it's really good to have counselling for yourself and go and talk to someone about how you're feeling. Because once that's really, that love's gone, it's really, really hard to get back. And if you've been doing that for a long time, the love doesn't come in so freely. Um, and it takes two. You can't make a relationship work by yourself. You can inject and give as much as you want to. You can put in everything you do. You can completely dedicate yourself to someone. But if they're not 
reciprocating. If they're not giving back to you, then it just becomes very, very toxic and an energy you need to move away from. So we're closing up the show. I um, want to just say to you again, um, if you want to come and join me on Facebook at The Aussie Goddess, I um, try to do some um, free card pulls uh, every now and again, which I really love to do, but it gets so busy, it gets ridiculously busy. So obviously I don't get to everybody, um, but I'll be putting some dates up on Facebook very shortly for that. Um, if you mention this TV show that you got me through this TV show, I'll give you a discount on your reading. I just want to see how this TV show is getting out there and um, and how many people are watching it. So please mention it if you're looking for a reading and I'll make sure you, I give you a nice discount. Um, we can do that by Skype if you're in another country, Messenger. Um, I use WhatsApp sometimes if we can't get close enough by phone. So we can do that as well. Um, also, as I said, I have a YouTube channel, which is the Aussie Goddess as well. Uh, and I come on every day and do a what's cracking reading, what's cracking for the day, and also a bonus read for those that what's cracking doesn't resonate with. So um, I have that going as well. I really love doing the work I do. I'm very, very dedicated. If I had an opportunity to do this full time, I would. Um, but unfortunately, life requires that I have another job as well. So um, I want to say to you, I'll see you next week. I want to say thank you so much for joining me on this channel. Um, make sure that you are loving yourself and remember you have to love every time like it's the first time. Don't take any baggage with you. So if you're walking away from something, make sure that you relieve yourself of all the things and forgive people and move forward with absolutely just giving a new person absolutely all of you. So much love to you all and I'll see you next Wednesday or Tuesday for you people in other countries. <laughs> Thank you.